Building for the future is a frequent piece of budget hype, and if you believe the hype this time, stamp duty is in for a big change. Costs start kicking in and get quite considerable, above 125,000, and it's the biggest buy of a purchaser they're going to possibly make. Barry Truelove's company is a medium-sized construction firm covering Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire. He says if politicians really want more houses, they really have to cut the red tape. We go boom to bust, you keep losing your um, trade people, we're setting on apprentices and trying to train them as fast as we can, but we need a long-term approach, not this, oh, what should we do, let's get building going this week. No, it needs to be thought over 10 or 15 years, not this budget. Yeah. So you've, you've heard it all before? Heard it all before. Home ownership used to be easy, not anymore. Today, there are almost one million fewer homeowners under the age of 45 than there were seven years ago when the Tories came to power. So this isn't just a housing crisis, it's a political crisis for the party that likes to see itself as the natural home of the homeowner. The budget rumours are that first-time buyers will get a stamp duty exemption. Everyone seems to really like that one around my kind of age because it's modern. Joanna is an estate agent in Nottingham and also a wannabe first-time buyer. So she's living the same catch-22s as many of her clients, living with their parents and trying to save for a deposit. You've just got to keep focused, otherwise we'll be at home forever, which is, like I say, comfortable, but my mum probably wants to get shot off me as much as I'd like my own house, so it's probably time to move on. Is there light at the end of the tunnel? I mean, do you, do you have a date in mind? or? Um, hopefully within the year. I'm really hoping this time next year I should have enough um, to put that deposit down. All eyes on the House of Commons tomorrow from people who want the budget to solve problems closer to home. Simon Viger, 5 News, Nottingham.